What's up guys, my name's Derek and welcome back to Hoosier State Fishing. So today I've got kind of a little challenge video for myself. Um, typically, if you guys have been around for any amount of time, you know that I'm, I'm basically a shit show when it comes to fishing. Getting tangled up in trees, getting tangled up in my own my own body, getting hooks stuck in me, falling out of the kayak, tipping my kayak over, losing rods, that's a big one. Uh, just losing stuff in general. So, you know, it really benefits me when I take less gear. You know, it just, it's just a less of a hassle, less stuff in my way. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take one rod today, uh, one rod, one reel, and um, just, just an assortment of baits that I feel confident in and I can catch fish on. We're just gonna go to a little local creek. The baits that I'm taking, which is not very much, they all have to fit in my fanny pack here. Bruh. Which actually isn't my fanny pack at all, it's my wife's little flamingo pineapple fanny pack. Shout out to my wife, but um, yeah, all the baits, everything that I'm taking has to fit into that fanny pack. We're just gonna keep it super simple today and see if we can get on some fish with the limited amount of baits that I'm gonna take. You know, sometimes less is more, and in my case, it's all the time. So, without further ado, let's get to the creek. All right, guys, we made it. I'm already getting attacked by mosquitoes, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some off on real quick before I uh, before I grab my rods and get my fanny pack out, so I don't contaminate my baits. Cool thing is that I was I was able to I was the cool thing is that I managed to fit all that stuff in my in my fanny pack. I've also got a pair of scissors for cutting my line, and I got those lanyard those are attached to my uh, belt loop, and I've also got spare batteries uh, for my GoPro, and um, also my license and uh, identification stuff like that, you know. But it's all in my fanny pack. I think that ought to do it. This is pretty exciting, guys. Just, you know, the simplicity of this. Just, I got one rod, I got a little fanny pack. Which is just one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Let's just start calling it a manny pack. I completely forgot that we got a pretty good little downpour yesterday. It pretty much rained all day. It doesn't look like the the river, the creek is too high to, to wade, fortunately, but uh, it's definitely up and it's uh, a little stained. But uh, sometimes that can work in your advantage. Ooh, actually it's, it's pretty pretty bad completely forgot about this but we're going to try to to make do with it and try to try to fish anyway so so one thing's for sure is i have a feeling that right off the bat i'm probably going to switch and switching this up to a uh, crankbait pretty soon because uh i just don't know if this fluke is going to be visible enough to these fish i'm actually kind of glad that i did bring that crankbait and i've also got those dark, darker colored uh, ned rigs too that i can throw luckily but i'm gonna i'm gonna rock with this for a little bit and we're gonna see what happens and you know no pressure man that's what this is all about just nice and easy see what we can do i'm gonna wade upstream oh, man i completely forgot about this rain should have saved this video for a different day honestly but what are you gonna do i really want to get yeah okay i'm gonna switch it up i'm gonna put the ned rig no no i'm not i'm gonna put the crankbait on real quick i gotta do it i don't feel confident with this with this light colored fluke in these conditions right now so i'm gonna put on a little crankbait just to search them out see if they hit on it and if they don't then we'll we'll just adjust fire with what we have i just like to mention something right now off the bat dude this is so nice having this little access right here in front the manny pack is making a comeback and i can i can honestly i can see why i'm gonna go ahead and tie on this little crankbait maybe this will be a better option close up our fanny oh yeah just a little medium fast action rod that i think will handle all of these baits fairly well i mean it's just a good all-around option for a scenario like this where you don't want to bring a whole lot of gear you just want to get out here and have a good time you know well, that's what we're rolling with i'm rocking 12 pound trilene sensation mono on here and uh yeah i almost wish that you know what i might do i might cheat go back to my car and get Another square bill, but different color. Something a little bit little bit brighter because of this dirty water. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, but I'm gonna put this one back. So I'm gonna go back up there. I'm gonna grab a little probably chartreuse and black, little square bill to toss around in here. So hang tight, stay with me, stay tuned. We're gonna try to get on some fish. Okay guys, I went ahead and tied on a little black <coughs> chartreuse, little uh, crankbait here just to try to show up better in the stained water. I think it might help, honestly, but we'll see. That's what I'm sticking with now. I'm not going back to my car. That's what I'm leaving on. Boy, I thought that was a fish. Glad I got it unsnagged, though. Oh, there's a fish. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, there we go. Yes. Right there in that current, little smally. Oh, I wish I had my little net. Look how light colored he is. Oh. oh, he's got something stuck in his mouth. What does he have in his mouth? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is not, that's not good, dude. This guy's gill is all screwed up. I might have to go back up to my car and grab one more thing. 
I don't have my pliers. I'm gonna leave them here for now. You're gonna have to just chill for a second, dude. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my pliers. That's what I should have named my channel is just fishing with shit show. I feel like that would have been much better. This fish might not make it. That fish's gill has been like that for quite a while. I've seen fish survive with worse. Got it out. I kept him in the water. I've got his gill pushed back down. I think he's gonna make it. His gill was messed up, man. Fish are tough, man. And you could tell that that fish's gill had been like that for a while. So I'm not stressed about it. I think he's gonna be fine. I think that fish was up here in some good current. This is where it's hard for me to accept the fact that I don't have two rods because right now I would be switching to a Ned rig and I'd be casting it over there in that deep end over there. <laughs> but we're just gonna have to use what we've got to work with, man. The tricky part is gonna be crossing this. So where I'm gonna be casting my bait, <clears throat> since this water's like this, is right up in here and some of these little, behind these big boulders where there's strong current because that's a perfect place for a fish to get out of the current for a little bit and to ambush predator or prey as it's coming by. So right behind those little eddies, behind those big you know boulders where those eddies form, that's where I'm gonna be casting this thing. And uh, I'll also be casting it into current seams and just areas where I can, where I see that there might be a, a, an area with less current. Normally I'd be casting right into the current because smallies relate to that kind of thing, especially with the warmer months that we've got now, trying to get, you know, more oxygen. Oh, there's somebody's fishing rod. Jeez, oh Pete, definitely got some line problems here. I don't know what they were using. It looks like maybe about a 150 pound test. Big game mono. Somebody's trying to get on that shark bite out here, man. And there is what they were using, little inline spinner. Looks like a uh, rooster tail is what those are called. I forgot the name of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna very carefully, yeah, we're gonna carefully make our way upstream. Clarity is not too bad. It's a little over a foot in these spots here. Probably would have been just fine keeping that first square bill I had on, but honestly, I don't think a fluke would be too terribly bad of an option right now, now that I'm really getting a good view of this uh, clarity. But I've caught a fish on this, so we'll stick with it. That's one of my major, like, big time problems is, is not sticking with baits. Constantly retying. So that's the beauty of coming out here with just a few baits. It makes you, you know, stick with it a little bit more than I would normally. Right now I'm currently trying to think of how I'm going to traverse this, this deep section. I think I'm going to go back and cross where I can see. There's a fish, that's a good fish. That's a good fish right there. Oh boy. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh, I am in this current. That's a that's an 18 right there. I don't have my measuring board. That's an 18 inch fish all day. Dang it. I cannot believe I didn't bring my measuring board. Ah. Oh, that's a good fish. And he's gonna get me hooked. <sighs> Look at that, guys. Beautiful smallie. Okay. Look at that, guys. Almost lost him. Feisty. That's an 18, 18 and a half inch fish. You can tell he's obviously spawned out, but they're starting to get fat again. Definitely feeding up. Good looking fish. I'm gonna get a picture of this guy and we'll get a release on him. Okay guys, let's get a good release on this guy. Pretty fish. I've been taking good care of him in the water, holding him in the water while I took pictures and stuff. There he goes. I can tell you one thing that uh, that fish felt really good to catch. That's my That was my first like decent sized smallie since the Minnesota trip. And I gotta say, man, that trip, I'm never gonna forget it first of all, but it's, it's gonna be so, it's so hard to get over a trip like that. Leaving a place like that with, with just the land of giants, honestly, just a, a dream for smallmouth fishermen. And, you, and coming back to, you know, your home waters, especially if your home waters are, you know, don't produce smallmouth or fish of that caliber. It's hard to get back into the swing of things, man, when you're used to catching big fish like that. But, you know, it's just a matter of going back out there and getting getting the feel for it and getting back into the swing of, the, of your home waters. Alrighty, so this is looking pretty freaking deep and I don't like it. Oh, I think we're okay, as long as we don't step in a hole. This branch. Alright, we're good. 
Got to remember that I've got my fanny pack on. On my oh, that was something pokey. Oh yeah, it's muddier. Oh, I'm just worried about spiders. That's all I'm worried about. And I just lost my sandal. That's yep. There it goes. And not only did I just lose it, I can't find it. There it is. Oh god. Oh god. Please, for the love of oh my god, it's deep. I don't want to step on a snapping turtle or something. Some kind of sketchy freaking creek beast. Let's just keep a move on. Don't think about the critters in the dark waters. Oh, that was that was sharp, whatever that was. Okay, thank God. Okay, I'm done. Got it. Whew. Right, I'm gonna switch it up to the Ned Rig real quick. All right, I've got that switched out to that, uh, it's called Gobi. Green Pumpkin Gobi, I believe. And uh, it looks pretty good, so let's, uh, let's give this bad boy a cast out here. And of course, if you guys did not know, these little jig heads with the weed guards, if you can see that, always make sure they're spread out in a V. That casted pretty well. There's a hit. Ooh, missed him. That was a good hit. Totally whiffed it. I'm not used to fishing a Ned rig on a freaking bait caster. Right on the edge of that current is where he bit. Nope. Ooh, that was a definitely a hit. Little guy. Let's give it up here. Right up there. There we go. That was a fish. I missed him. Missed him again. These are little guys I'm dealing with, man. Let's try it again. Bub. Bub. Right there. Come on. Fish. Let's go. Uh, there's a fish. Got him. Got him. Little guy. I knew it. Still fun. Look at that little guy. <laughs> cool. That's all right, though. Caught him. Now we can get a move on. All right, guy. He's got big potential. See you, buddy. I gotta figure out how, how much farther I wanna go because I really have no idea. I don't wanna get stuck in a treacherous situation walking back at night in this low visibility stuff. So there's a fish. There we go. Is he still on or did I lose him? Oh, he's still there. Fought, fighting like a wet sock here for a second. Oh, spit it. And right at me. Holy smokes, dude. Dang it. Right into a snag, are you serious? All right guys, so we did a little, we found a little shortcut and I traversed. See if I can give you guys a good look at what we would have had to have waited against. We've traversed that whole, that whole section there, which actually looks really good. I'd like to fish it, but I just didn't feel like walking through it because it's pretty damn treacherous, man. I just do not want to get in a bad situation. Now we can go a little farther upstream here, try to get on some fish again. So stay tuned. I guess really it's just gonna come down to me making a decision on how far I wanna go. I really don't wanna walk back in the dark. I do that all the time, because I can never <clears throat> figure out when to call it quits. Oh my God, these gnats are horrendous. I took my sunglasses off for like two seconds and they dove straight from my freaking eye juices. Oh boy. Oh, it gets deep. It's getting deep. Come on, I'm gonna have to, I gotta take this fanny pack off. Give me one second. Oh God, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm gonna call it quits on the sandbar right here. This is as far as I'm going. I think I might actually go a little bit past this island here and then call it quits. Probably a mistake, probably shouldn't do it, but there could be a freaking giant past this island. You just never know. That's what, that's what keeps pushing us to push the boundaries, you know? You just gotta keep on keeping on. Well guys, as you can see, we've made it back to the covered bridge. I'm gonna hit this little hole here and that big hole over there uh, under the bridge there. See if there's any more here that might wanna tangle with the old Ned rig. That's a hit. Got him. Oh, I lost him. How the? How did that happen? That's a fish. Wow, he was right on the edge of that rock. Might lose this guy. Decent fish. Feels like he's in that current though. Oh yeah. Oh, he's all right. Probably about a little 14 incher, maybe. Yeah. Not a bad little guy. Okay, let's. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Feisty. So warm, this fish. Holy cow. Let's let him go. Woo! He was right on the edge of that rock. Like, right. Like, I casted basically on the rock. And he was just sitting there waiting for Ned Rigs to fall in the water. What a spot. I wonder if there's another one over there. I can't help but cast. That was a bad cast, but 
Might as well give it a shot. That's right in that zone. I know there's more fish in there. They're stacked up in there. There's one. Little guy, got him. Oh, he got off, he got off. Right there, holy cow. I'm just swimming it through there. There's one, got him. There's another little guy. There's a little guy. I guess I've overfished my welcome in that little spot. But there's something over there. Holy cow. Oh, this is scary. But there was a fish. Got him. Got him, little guy, little guy. All right, let's see if we can pull something out of here. That was a fish. That's a fish. Oh. Oh, no. Catch up to him. Coming right at me. <laughs> there we go. Now he's now he's active. Oh my gosh, has he got me wrapped up in something? No, he's just a decent little fish. Good stuff. Good little fish, man. He came right out. Didn't hook him very good. Just a nice little 13 inch or so. Let's let him go. Yep. I think I made the call to come back just in time. Oh my god, it's so freaking dark in here, I can't even see. Let me just get this light turned on for you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click this right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button, and we will see you on the next one. Happy Halloween. <laughs>